So today I'll show you how to draw force diagrams, otherwise known as free body diagrams. So we're going to be drawing a force diagram for this box, which will be our system today. And we have a child pushing on that box to the right at a constant velocity. And it's going to be on a carpeted surface, so we know that there's going to be friction involved. Now, according to Newton's first law of motion, anything that's already moving is going to tend to stay that way. So since the box is already moving at a constant velocity, then we're going to assume that it's always going to just be moving that way. And so our forces should be balanced. So let's go ahead and determine what external objects are, are exerting forces on our system, which is the box. So first of all, we have the earth. And the earth is going to be pulling our box down towards the center of the earth. So it's going to be experiencing a downward force, which is counteracted by the upward force that the ground exerts on the box. So the ground is going to be keeping the box from dropping down into the center of the earth. And so we can say that the ground is pushing up on the box the opposite direction that the earth is pulling down on it. So we are going to denote this with a capital N, which is basically saying that our ground is going to exert a normal force on the box. Now that doesn't mean that this force is common, it just means that uh, the normal force is perpendicular to the ground. So we have our ground, which is basically horizontal, but the ground is pushing up on the box, and so this force is perpendicular to what the ground actually is. And so that's why we call it a normal force. And then we also have the child pushing on the box to the right, and then that is going to be balanced by uh, the frictional force that the carpet provides. So remember, our forces need to be balanced because it will only stop if it will only stop moving if there is an unbalanced force acting upon it. And the fact that it's moving at a constant velocity basically tells us that the forces must all be balanced. So let's go ahead and start drawing our force diagram. Now, what we need to do is represent our system with a dot. So that's going to be our box. And so let's go through each of these um, external objects and draw in the appropriate forces that each of them exerts on the system. So we have our earth, which is going to be pulling downwards on the box. So we can um, label this force F sub E on the box. So F sub E on B. And you can also write MG. So what this is basically saying is that the magnitude of the force exerted on the box by the earth is equal to mass times gravity. So whatever the mass of the box is times 9.8, which is basically um, the acceleration caused due to gravity. And so we also have the ground, which is pushing upwards. And these two forces should be about the same length, or they should be the same length, because uh, they will be counteracting each other and balancing each other out. So we can label this as F ground on box or F normal, because like we said earlier, uh, this force is going to be the normal force. And so we also have the force of the child. Actually, let me do that in a different color. And this force does not necessarily have to be the same length as these two forces because the child could be pushing on the box very hard or very softly, uh, depending on what uh, speed the box is traveling at. But what we do need to make sure is that the force of the child pushing on the box must be equal to the frictional force caused by the carpet. So these two forces must balance each other out, but they do not necessarily have to be the same length as these vertical forces. So this force pushing to the right would be the force of the child on the box. And this would be the force of the carpet on the box, otherwise known as friction. 
So that's our force diagram for our box, and hooray, we did it!